This is the, that we are finished, completely done, and I think this is the most efficient way. I'm going to be walking around the Pelican here and show you the things that we have added and we feel like that they're really going to help us. The first thing that we have got is we've got these seats that we've put in here and I've got my tackle box right underneath and still we have a lot of room on both sides that we can work this time. I put this this board here across here with a, one of the armatures of this right here off, off of a, a bed seat and I have put the, uh, a little gauge up here to measure this and then I put tubes in here that I've seen on YouTube from different people to hold the different rods and reels that we have. Plus I have put metal plates across here, magnetic plates that holds these things in there medically. Like my pliers right here that I have set there and do it. I'm going to come back to your transducer here in a little bit and be the last thing that I did put on that I will talk about. The person that is driving the boat at this time is up a little bit higher than the rest of us. You'll notice that mine was a little bit lower and we are going with the Minn Kota which has the extension up here that goes off at the, his example. The one thing that we do have in the back here is an anchor that has a buoy on it that we can pass on here and it will hold it down about 15 to 20 yards. Now off the side here we do have the big oar just in case our Minn Kota runs out of battery juice at that time and we can get back to the, where we started. Now going around the boat I put this extra tube in here just for example if I catch a fish I can put my rod in there and then I can take the fish off at that time. Now you'll notice that on my poles that I put up here we do have the fishing net up there just in case we catch the old big one. Now going to the transducer that I did put on we at one time had the transducer sitting back here on the engine but it broke so I'm gonna, I bought this for $21 on eBay and it was a transducer that goes on kayaks. But I was able to put those four little screws right in there and put that on there and run the mount around. And then with our little milk carton that we have under here, I have my battery and the deal, it comes out, that line comes up and into the fish finder at that time and then plus this one goes up into the fish finder around and this is the leftover cord that I had that I went and put little clips on where it wouldn't be so rattled out. Here's my fish finder for the guy that's driving and knows where we're going at that time. Now when we go out we are always the reason we have so many rods up here instead of having them lay down here on the boat we've already got the lures that we want at that time so instead of having to retie and everything we can just turn around and pull one of these out and use it at that time now on this transducer when we're traveling I can put it up if it gets too close to the ground at that time and it will hold it in there like that way now when we are done and we're ready to go home All I have to do, there's a little button underneath here, and I can just push up on that button and it comes out at that time. And then I can put that in the milk crate, plus it's got the battery in there that charges it, and we can take that inside the house when we get home. Plus we can disconnect by just pushing this press down, and this, this fish finder will come out and I can take it inside the house at that time. This is just like one of those seats. It will come off at that time. If you have any questions or comments about what we have gotten, I feel like that with the one thing that we looked at for more than one thing that when we was out fishing, we got really crowded up here with a lot of stuff. And now you'll notice we have a lot of room at this time. We have a room on each side. Now, on the other side, 
I ran another magnetic strip across here on my fish grinder or catcher and it, it, it just magnetizes itself right up there against it at that time if you again you have any questions or comments leave them there and I'll get back as soon as I can see them at this time thank you